What does a day mean to you? I guess it means like waking up in the morning and like going to bed at night. That's like what constitutes a day for me. Well, a day. I don't know, man. Like, from when you wake up to when you go to sleep, that's your day. And like, the next day doesn't count until you've fallen asleep. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I spend a lot of time like working because I have to do that. Day. Um, a day is a span of time. It's what you do things in. When I think of like a day, I think of just like like the same routine, like the same thing over and over and over again. Um, like to me, like all days, just like like right now, all days just like feel the same. They're all just kind of like I have like no sense of days anymore because everything is just like piling on top of each other. So like everything is just like time. <laughs> um, I don't know. It depends. It's like every day is different. But it's like it's always unpredictable what's gonna happen every day. So I, I, so I guess a day for me is something that's unexpected. Uh, it's really open ended. Um, to me, a day just means like a regular day in the life of somebody. Um, I guess if you're talking literally, a day is like a 24 hours you spend, you know, seven days in a week. But like memorable days filled with like events, things that you like never forget. Today's one. Um, <laughs> today's a day. So I guess, uh, what is a day to me? Days can be shitty, days could be really good. But I think like a really, like what a day is, is just like, I don't know, it's just kind of like doing whatever, whatever you feel, whatever you're trying to do that day, that's what you're doing. And like some days you just don't want to do shit and you're just staying inside all the time. Or some days you want to go out and you want to like meet people or you want to like really do something that day or the next day. You could be feeling like not motivated. So I think a day to me is just like whatever you're feeling, that's kind of what you should do. <laughs> I think that always, that's constantly changing. And by that I mean like, if you take a day as a day and you don't add time to it, so like you don't have boundaries to it, then like a day could be like a few days. It could be like your trip on the, to the beach or like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. or like your, your vacation to like Florida or whatever it may be. Yeah. So like, a, a time doesn't need to be tied to it is what I'm trying to say. To me, a day means knowing the sun will rise in the morning. Knowing that I'll do something, whether it just be like doing the dishes or doing laundry or just completing something. I know I can get something done. But really, it's kind of like what I initially said. It's like knowing that the sun will rise. I like that certainty in a day. That even if like those other little things don't get completed, that the sun will always be up and it will always be around for 12 hours or whatever, how long it is. And then it'll set and it's nice. The continuation is like a routine. So it's nice not to have to think about something like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like it kind of depends. It's like, a day can start at so many different times, you know? I don't know. I don't know what a day really is. It's just when the sun is up, but... I don't know. I guess it's just a time that has opportunity in it. I feel like really good things get accomplished during the daytime. What do you think you notice most in a day? Oh my god.
probably sunlight. So like cloudy days are kind of shit. Mm. It's crazy. Well, I think I notice who I interact with or who I, yeah, I guess who I talk to or if I'm like just like not talking to anyone. Um, you know, some days are just spent sleeping. So I guess I notice a lot when I'm like slowly getting to know someone better and like building connections with people. And um, I guess like through building connections with other people, like I find out more about myself and I guess just like figuring out who I am in the world. And that feels like, it's cool feeling like you're kind of getting at who you are. I notice when I'm outside a lot, like I, I like to be outside and I like the fresh air and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when I'm inside all day, it like feels really good to like walk home. What do I think I notice most in the day? Um, well, I work like super early in the morning. So like, I guess what I notice most is just like light. Like, cause when I leave for work, it's dark. And sometimes when I'm like leaving work, it's still dark. So what I think I notice most is just like how much like light affects me in that way. Um, I always notice the sky for some reason. Like since I came here, this like the sky is something I look at every day consciously. Um, and yeah, so I think that's one of like the things that determines every day for me is when I look at the sky. Probably like I notice like how I feel differently depending on what I'm doing in a day um, depending on like how much sleep I got I feel like that's the first thing I notice and then uh, obviously always paying attention to the weather um, and just looking around and seeing what, like what's around you I like uh, you know people watching when you're on transit and stuff like that so uh, yeah just taking in your surroundings basically I'd say that's like what I look at the most um, well, the ones that I tend to, like, look back on the most are, like, social aspects. So, like, if I'm out with friends, not so much if, like, I'm in class, you know? Just the really fun stuff. That's what I tend to notice in a day. Like, how much fun am I having? Is it, like, a good day, you know? Uh, people. I think, like, just people on the street, I guess. Or just, like, the people around you, if you are surrounded by people. Um, like sometimes I'll work like I work four days in a row and during those four days I'm just like geez I, I work in a restaurant and I, I'm just like some people really suck you know and, like, <laughs> and then other days I'll notice like things about myself but most of the time I just think I notice people as a whole so whether that be myself or other people I think I just notice people um, but like actually it would be Probably my hunger. It sounds so weird, but I would hate not seeing lines every day. Like the structural lines of buildings and like on the road and the sidewalks, like little things like that. Because it just allows your eye to like move more eloquently and slowly. And you can just kind of focus on everything and it's like a little cartoon almost. And I think if those were to disappear, it'd feel really, really weird. Like bizarre. Like what's a world without lines? I couldn't even picture it. Hmm. I feel like I notice my phone a lot in a day. You know? Like, I feel like I'm looking at that thing every two minutes. <laughs> every time it goes off, I'm like, huh. Time to check my phone. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> A day to me is like a big blur of things. It's a lot because like when you wake up you don't really know like at least for me like you don't really know how you feel yet like everything kind of just like hits you and if even if you have a weird dream or something you could wake up feeling kind of off so like a day is a big blur but 
at the same time it's kind of like fun to make of that blur what you can because I think like you have to do a lot in a day but at the same time you can do nothing and sometimes you like have to do nothing um so what a day is to me it's like either making nothing into something or making something into nothing and trying to be okay with it <laughs> I think what I notice most in a day <coughs> is probably <sighs> I mean it sounds crazy but I think I, I notice the things that I, I notice if that makes sense like the things that I know maybe only go on in my head and maybe not in other people's heads um so i notice like a lot of like what other people do because of that or even what other like things do around me so like cars um buildings like buildings are big like buildings like people think buildings stay the same but like you walk by a building and like Maybe the reflection is just a little different or something. But, like, I notice a lot of weird things. Like, how people, like, pick up things or, like, eat things. <laughs> um, and I like seeing that stuff. And I think that's why, to me, visual is really important. And I think, like, yeah, if I don't see something I love, I feel like, oh, fuck, like, what did I do today?